Well, guys, I had the privilege and opportunity the wife let me to go out and uh, see if I could catch some saw guys in my one of my river spots this evening. Didn't leave the house until 10.30, about 10.45, got to my spot. Water was looking nice, had some great color to it. But uh went down first the other day when I was here. Big Joshy swim bait was just getting it done. They were crushing these. Uh, I ended up, I think, with about 13 in about two hours. Had one wiper and a uh, smallmouth. But uh, started out with it again this evening. And I caught two in about 20 minutes. But just things weren't feeling right. I saw some more bait starting to rise up and flicker around. So I went over towards the seam where we had kind of a Y of the current coming together, making a V. You had to throw over that V and get on the back side of that slack. And I'll tell you what, the only thing they really wanted, I tried some Smith wicks, I tried some scatter wraps, I tried the um, oh, hit stick, and that's what just did the trick. Tonight, it was a number 11 hit stick. This is a limited edition all chrome. And I'll tell you what, I threw this on the cross that current seam, brought it and got it tight and started pumping this thing to making it really go down and come up, go down and come up. I have no lead or anything on this. This is a one out of the box, so it rises pretty quick. As you pull that down and catch your line up as that was coming to the surface, you get to take off. These fish will just crush it head first and T-bone it. As a matter of fact, one thing I'm going to experiment with on the 11s, I haven't had any problems on the 13, but I did lose about two, three to four pound saw guys in the current. And I think I'm going to up the size of the hook to see how that does in current situations. Doesn't mean you really need it all the time, but in this situation it was some pretty strong current. And uh, as they were coming through it, they were tearing off. And I had the drag set right, loose, but it's just... Could have been one of them nights too. I've had other nights where I've used these and have had no issues at all. But I'm telling you, these hit sticks are so versatile. I like I said, I tried a Rapala, I tried a Smithwick floater, tried a suspender, and I didn't get a hit. I went to this one. If you haven't tried these, what's cool about these is really neat is when these things you pull these through the water, that side to side motion is so hard that you can feel it through your, through all the way up your shoulder. I mean, just, just, it's a buzz. So when you're pumping that, it's really making a racket. And then it's rising up and it gets going. And I tell you what, they were just smashing it. So that's a report. It's about 1.30 at night. Fished about two and a half hours again. Wish I could stay because the better fish were starting to show up. I got to go to work. But if you got some river spots with saw guys around you, smallmouth as well, or wipers, I'm telling you, the water conditions have come down and the fish are eating. Tight lines, everybody.